Hey, my name's Anna and I like to read. And in this video, I'm going to be doing the office book tag. So before I start answering the questions, I just wanted to say that I am reading from my iPad, which is why I will be looking down to answer these questions. So the first question in this tag is Michael Scott, a book that tried way too hard. And for this question, I chose Frankly in Love. I think that the writing was terrible in this. I think the characters were way underdeveloped. I think the author tried to cram as many issues as he possibly could and wasn't able to focus on a on one or just a few and it was just a terrible book that tried way too hard in my opinion. The next question in this tag is Dwight Schrute, a book that ended up being a lot more complex than you thought it would be. And for this question I chose How to Save a Life. So this book follows two characters. One of them is named Jill and her father has recently died and her mom is in her 50s and she decides that she wants to adopt the baby. And the other girl is Mandy who is a teen mom and she wants to give up the baby. So Jill's mom contacts Mandy and Mandy moves in with them during the pregnancy. I think this is a great book. This was such a great read. It explores so many dynamics and it turned out to be way more complex than I thought it was going to be and this book made me think about a lot of things. I really liked how the female characters and the relationships between them were at the forefront and I liked how it discussed womanhood, pregnancy, teen pregnancy, how there are different ways to be a woman and a mom and I just thought that this was such a great read and it was very interesting and it ended up being way more complex than I thought it was going to be. The next question in this tag is Jim Helper, you in a book, a book or character that you related to a ton. And for this question I chose Hallie from What I Like About You because she is a Jewish bookstagrammer that has anxiety and I found her to be very relatable for multiple reasons. The next question in this tag is Pem Beasley. Seriously underrated but amazing book you wish everyone would read. And for this question I chose What You Left Behind. So this follows Ryden, whose girlfriend dies from cancer because she refused chemotherapy because she was pregnant and she wanted to give birth to a healthy baby. I thought that this book discussed so many important topics and themes and I thought it was really interesting and I thought the author made you really think about different ideas and themes that are brought up and explored in this book. I was actually very hesitant to read this book but I ended up really liking it and I liked the main character and I liked how the author explored his struggles with being a teen dad and I thought it was also interesting how his, there was a mother-son relationship that was explored in this book. I thought it was very good and I think more people should know about this book and read this book. The next question in this tag is Ryan Howard, The Intern, debut novel that impressed you. So for this question I chose Children of Blood and Bone. This was a debut novel that follows Zelly so she has to bring magic back and strike against the monarchy. I am not a big fan of fantasy to be honest but I had to read this for a class in grad school and I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was well written. I thought the story was very well crafted. I enjoyed the plot and I thought that the dynamics between the characters were very complex and interesting to read about. I also thought that the topics and the themes that were brought up in this fantasy 
are actually relevant to our society in the real world today and I really enjoyed this book and it really impressed me. The next question in this tag is Andy Bernard, annoying book or character that you can't help but love or not? And for this I'm going to go with Theo from The Goldfinch. So at times I felt very bad for him and I liked him as a character and about to certain things I could relate and I felt, felt for him and for his struggles. At the same time I wanted to whack him up the head for some of the things he did and said in this novel and for some of his behaviors in this book. He was an annoying character but he was also a lovable character at times. The next question in this tag is Robert California, a book, character, or plot that went over your head or was really confusing? And for this question, I am going to go with The Starless Sea. I still don't really get what was going on in this book. I think the author tried to put so many complex things in this book and I personally do not think that it came together well at the end. I think that the author has beautiful prose and I think she is an excellent writer. However, I don't think she developed the characters or the relationship between the characters well. At the same time, I don't think that the plot was very well developed either. I think that on one hand, there was a lot going on in the Starless Sea, but at the same time, I feel like even after I finished it, I was not able to understand everything that happened and I actually buddy read this with someone and we discussed this book and we had a very long discussion because there are some parts that you just miss so I feel like some of the plot of this book just went over my head unfortunately. The next question in this tag is Angela Martin. A book with a plot that didn't appeal to you at first, but you ended up loving. And for this question, I'm going to go with Sheets. So this follows a girl named Marjorie whose mom recently died and she has to take over the laundry mat that they own. And she runs it and one day she comes across this ghost named Wendell and they become friends. So this is a middle grade graphic novel and I am not the biggest fan of middle grade graphic novels and I wasn't sure that I was going to enjoy the story. However, I really enjoyed this graphic novel. I thought the art style was fantastic and I thought that the relationship between the two friends was developed very well. So overall, I really enjoyed this book, even though I thought I wasn't going to. The next question in this tag is Kelly Kapoor, favorite sassy character. And for this, I chose Alex from Red, White and Royal Blue. So this book follows Alex, who is the son of the first female president and Henry, the Prince of Wales, and they are enemies until there is a scandal that forces them to pretend to be friends and eventually they fall in love and form a relationship. And Alex is very sarcastic in this book so I chose him as my favorite sassy character. The next question in this tag is Kevin Malone, a book that features music. And for this question I chose the Hunger Games trilogy. I have the other books downstairs but I don't really want to go get them. So anyway the series features songs and those songs are actually very relevant to the plot. The next question in this tag is Oscar Martinez, a book that has an awesome LGBT character that defies stereotypes. So for this question, I'm going to go with The Prince and the Dressmaker. This follows Prince Sebastian who likes to put on dresses during the night and go out into the fashion scene. And 
he goes out as Lady Cresselia and Lady Cresselia is a hot fashion icon. Then he hires a dressmaker for him named Frances and they form a friendship and eventually they form a relationship. This is a historical graphic novel so it is never said if Prince Sebastian is gender fluid or non-binary but he does use he or him pronouns in this book and I thought it was very interesting and I liked the friendship and the eventual relationship development between Francis and Sebastian. I thought it was well done. I also liked the themes of gender and gender identity that were explored in this graphic novel. I thought it was very well written and I also really enjoyed the art style. I thought the color palette was amazing and really bright and beautiful. The next question in this tag is Stanley Hudson, a character or a book that DGAF? So for this question I'm going to go with five Hargreaves from the Umbrella Academy, specifically the Umbrella Academy Volume 2 Dallas. Five doesn't give enough about anything. He's just doing his own thing and I liked his character in this graphic novel. The next question in this tag is Meredith Palmer, a book you couldn't stomach to graphic, violent, romantic, vulgar or whatever your reason. So if I cannot stomach a book for whatever reason it may be, I usually just DNF it. However, one book that I didn't DNF because I was reading it for a comic book club back in February was Mr. Miracle. I thought that that book was way too graphic for me and it was way too depressing because it's about superheroes that were literally brought up in hell. That is where they were born and they go through torture. And that graphic novel is very graphic and also depicts a lot of torture and mental health issues. And while I can appreciate what the book was trying to do, I think it was way too much. And I would have honestly DNF'd it if I hadn't gone to the comic book club. The next question in this tag is Creed Bratton, a book or series that only ever made you ask more questions. And for this, I am going to go with Children of Blood and Bone. So this book ended on a cliffhanger and I had many questions. I actually still haven't read the sequel to this book which I believe is called Children of Virtue and Vengeance. I think that's the title of the sequel to this book but the way this book ended I had so many questions about where the story was going and what was going to happen with the characters. So this is the book that only ever made me ask more questions. So that is it for this video. Let me know your answers to these tag questions and what you think of this tag. And if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video soon.